Hey, it's You Are Scared here. So I'm going to be showing you how to put some uh, videos and DVDs and all that kind of stuff onto your iPod, iPod Touch, iPod Classic, iPod Nano, whatever kind of iPod that has a screen. So if you just hold on a minute. Um, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel right next to my name. Right, and I'll be showing you now how to put videos on your iPod Touch or iPod, whatever. First, you gotta down download um, Magic DVD Ripper. I, I'm gonna leave a link beside that in the. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of the video right beside it, uh, the video itself. Um. So first, you gotta go to um the website uh, download.com. It's gonna be on it. So you just click into this website that's on the link. Then you go uh, click in, oh, you don't have to do anything, it's going to be on it, I mean, just, this will come up, uh, Magic DVD Studio 808.1, we'll see where it says download now, just click that, go straight into that, um, it's going to bring up something on your screen where to save it to, probably, I'd give the best option saved to your um, desktop so you can find it easily, I already have it so I'm not going to download it again. But when it's downloaded, it'll say, thank you for downloading Magic DVD Ripper 8.0.8.1. Um, once you have it downloaded, just open it up. Um, the Magic DVD Ripper here. Uh, source, this will come up at the start, right? It says, uh, your source, which the DVD, you should just put in a DVD at this stage. Uh, if you don't have a DVD in, just put one in. Um, You'll find the disc in it when it's in, and my one in the minute I have Green Street in, so that's okay. Now it's going to say title, blah blah blah, you don't need to touch any of that, or unless you want subtitles. If you want that, you can just put in subtitles, yes or no. I don't really like subtitles, but you can have them in max 20 English. Uh, profile, I have it on iPod Touch, but if you have like something else, like uh, even... PSP, it works on PSPs and uh, Apple TVs and everything. But if you want more, some uh, more profiles, just go into more profiles and a lot of this will come up. And like for if you have an iPhone, iPod Touch, MP3, whatever, Zen, Zoom, whatever kind of a um, thing you can think of. And then once that started, um, put it. I have it on iPod Touch now. That's okay with me. Split mode infinity file name. Uh, once you've made one, it should be title or one, but you don't want that, so just at the end of it, it's going to say Green Street or whatever film you have in, but put the name of the film again where it says title, uh, 0102, whatever. Um, then just press start, and it should say time elapsed, uh, remaining time, and would you want to shut down your computer when the job's done, so you can leave it running overnight, and it'll just shut down the computer afterwards. Well, that's it. If you don't believe me, I'll show you here, um, and my iPod Classic, uh, movies, I've shown this on the other video, Green Street, I have a little, little there's Green Street, I'll play some of it, there, now, it's Green Street, you can play the all the films and everything. But that's basically it. How you put movies on your iPod, PSP, iPod, whatever kind of, uh, um, what would you call it? Whatever kind of MP3 with a screen, like PSPs or whatever. Doesn't matter what it is. Hey, right, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, next to my name. Thanks very much. Bye.